Okay, so here we are. I just moved to the floor because I got stuff to show off. It'll be easier for me to sit on the floor to do this. Uh, day three, Magic Kingdom. Did not open until noon. This is the day after the hurricane. I'm going to wear the ears for this video, even though it's pinching my head. Uh, it was a whole different experience compared to the first two days. Now, did it rain? Yes. But I got into the park. I Everything was open right away. Uh, I got in. Walked around the Emporium, Grand Emporium, for a bit. Uh, then I'm like, alright, I'm going to go do some rides. Peter Pan's flight had a 15 minute wait. I It took maybe about 15 minutes and I was on it. Got off the ride. I'm like, that was different. You know, I, I see why people like it, but it's not as amazing as some people have led me to believe that it's that popular. Maybe Disneyland in California, it's better. I don't know. But got done with that one. I'm like, oh, it's a small world. Five minute wait for it's a small world. Why not? It's a small world. Whatever. It's classic. I don't know if the boats were going faster or what. Their, their rides were set to go a little faster than normal. Our boat bumped into the boat in front of us. I don't know if that's normal and it's a small world or not. We got to the end of the ride. <laughs> And there were like six boats backed up waiting to depart. So I'm sitting there and that song is just playing on a loop in the last room on the ride. And I'm just like... Pfft. This song better not get stuck in my head. Uh, <laughs> it did not, thankfully. I was lucky. Uh, yeah, so it's a small world. Stuck in my head a little. little all right, a little bit, but I, I got off that ride and I'm like, okay... That was something. So I'm looking on the app and I'm looking at the rides that are shut down. Nothing in the circus is working. Uh, Big Top Circus or whatever they call it. Uh, the the sh souvenir shop was open. I didn't even go over there last year. That was the weird part to me. I, I like looking at it, I said, I don't even think I came over here last year. I don't think I went to the circus last year. Circus area. Like I knew Dumbo the Flying Elephant was a ride, but I didn't. I didn't go over there for some reason. Uh, that's that's my part of my issue. It's pinching the glasses into my ears and everything else. Uh, so I went on, walked down that way. Uh, no, sorry. I went over to Pirates of the Caribbean. had a 15-minute wait. I'm like, okay. So I went on Pirates of the Caribbean, got off with that, and it was another one where our boat caught up to the boat in front of us. I'm like, this is kind of weird. It's, it felt like the rides I had already done were going a little faster than usual. I don't know if it was just me or what, but I was a single rider, so I spent a lot of the time just sitting by myself. Let's go back to the Navi River adventure real quick. I was in the front of the boat by myself, and there were people in the boat in the rows behind me, but I was the only one in the front. I I didn't. It, same thing, parts of the Caribbean. I was in the middle of the boat by myself. Uh, it's a small world. I was at the back of the boat by myself. I I didn't complain of the other rides. So Haunted Mansion. <laughs> Let's go to Haunted Mansion. I go get down with Pirates of the Caribbean. Haunted Mansion has a 20 minute wait. I'm like, I gotta do it. It's my favorite ride. Love the Haunted Mansion. Got on the Haunted Mansion. Did not take 20 minutes to get in there. We were in there. Got on the ride. We got stuck. I'm at the ball room scene and the ride got stuck. I was a little excited I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, we are stuck, we're gonna, maybe we'll have a walk-off, and I'm right looking down on the ballroom scene, like the dancers, the spinning dancers are right in front of me, I'm like, this is awesome, this is perfect, so I'm just, I'm, I'm making, I'm taking a video, but it's not working very well, you can't see anything, get done with that, uh, it starts going again, get up, go through the thing, you know, and hatch away, the, through the thing go down into the graveyard scene we get stuck right before the marvel the singing busts again and this time the announcement thing came on and says you know please remain seated we will be you know experiencing technical difficulties we will be get getting the ride moving shortly I'm like this is awesome please light on walk off please now nope, the ride got gone and we got off 
I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to head over to Tomorrowland. That's the land I spent the least amount of time in last time I was there. So I go to go on to Tomorrowland, and I walk past uh, the Little Mermaid ride. Again, five minute wait. I'm like, this is insane. Did I die last night? I'm getting to go on all the rides with very little wait time. Jungle Cruise is closed. Goofy's flight thing is closed. Dumbo is closed. Magic Carpets are closed. I'm like, what in the world? You know, of course, you know, a hurricane just came through. So probably the rides aren't going right. So I go on Little Mermaid, get done with that, get off that ride. And I go over to the circus area. And at this point, I'm starting to get a little hungry. I'm like, I'm going to grab a big old Mickey pretzel. So I grabbed a pretzel and I just kind of sat. I found a dry rock and sat there and ate the pretzel. I said, this is, I just needed to sit. Uh... It, it had rained on and off. Sometimes, some really hard. Wind blew, would, would blow really hard. Rain really hard. Then it just stop and it's sunny. Florida. Just like Michigan, apparently. Um, got done with the pretzel, I look. And the Jungle Cruise is now open. That's the ride I wanted to do last year, but I refused to wait two hours for a ride. I would If I wasn't already that far in the ride on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, I would have ditched it. I would have been like, this ain't worth it. Later, people. You enjoy your wait. I'm done. Uh, <laughs> so I got on the Jungle Cruise. I was up in the front of the boat next to the skipper. Uh, her name was Skipper Shelby. She was really... She reminded me, she reminded, reminded me of my friend Amy, so I was really cool with that. Uh, and she made the joke about not bathing. She, of course, she looks directly at me and I get to be the punchline joke. Do you smell that? And I'm like... I don't even know how to properly respond to this. That's the smell of adventure. Uh, <laughs> I just, I just sat there laughing. I loved it. Uh, she was great. Uh, kudos to you, Skipper Shelby. Thanks for making the, and it was, it was the Jingle Cruise too. So it wasn't even the Jungle Cruise. It was, had the Christmas overlay for the Jingle Cruise, which was cool. Um, got to do, got to see the Jungle Cruise. I've always wanted to go on that ride. After that, I headed over to Tomorrowland, finally. I'm doing a bit of shopping. I'm doing some browsing. Uh, I ended up buying this pin for myself. I thought it was kind of neat. It's a Tinkerbell pin with a little vial of uh, pixie dust. I already took her off the thing and put her on my clipboard, but my cork board. Yeah, I just thought she was kind of neat. I don't know if the bottle even... No. I, gonna say, I don't know if the bottle opens. Hopefully not. It does not, but it's just got blue glitter in there. As you can... I don't know if you can tell really well. It's got... That's all that's in there. It's blue glitter. Uh, thought it was neat. I got this pen for... Uh, pen. This pin for my friend Trisha. Uh, no off switch. She loves Lilo and Stitch. She wanted one with, like, Stitch where he had to uh, put the bikini top on and the cape and was bouncing around like a superhero. They did not have that. They had this one. Uh, there was a lot. I have bought my friend Amy some... Baby Yoda pins. Uh, it was a two-pack. I had Baby Yoda in his egg thing. And uh, said The Force. It was kind of cartoony. So I got that for her. She wanted pins. Uh, my friend Jessica wanted shot glasses. Disney does not sell shot glasses. I ended up finding this one in Tennessee for her, which is really nice. I almost wish I kept it, but that's okay. And then this Kentucky one's got bourbon on it. <laughs> yeah. I got those for, they were about five bucks each, six bucks each, so that's about the most I spent on anybody. Uh, the Babu Frick out of the way. This is what I actually got my best friend, uh, which she'll probably end up watching this video later and being like, I can't believe you showed it. I love the way that they wrapped this. Um... unwrapping this so oh good lord my friend has coffee mugs so many Disney coffee mugs I found this one I'm just here for the snacks it's got all the different fun Mickey snacks on there uh, it's got a spoon that's got to be taken out she can, she can, I'm sure his, her kids will use it for hot cocoa and things like that uh, I thought it was cute I thought that was really cute. So that's that's 
that was what I got from my best friend. Uh, when we had a Disney store in Michigan, I always got her, would go out to the Disney store and get her a coffee cup for her birthday and Christmas, so. Yeah. Don't ask me how they wrapped that. I can't get it back in that way. Uh, at this point, I'm pretty much, like, I'm done. I'm just shopping for other people now. I'm picking up things for other people. I did buy <laughs> Goofy Sour Balls. I love these. I bought these last year. I bought two bags of them last year. I bought eight bags of them this year. I think I'm down to four already. I, I ate some while I was at the resort. But I love these things. Are they sour? They have a little kick to them, but no. They are, they're essentially extra flavored jelly beans. That's what these are. They are amazing. I got a bag right there that I'm slowly eating at right now. This is a sealed bag. I've got a few more of these. No, nobody's getting those. Those are just mine. Uh, I had my friend want me to pick her up. One of my other best friends. She wanted me to pick her up these sweatpants. She liked these. Uh, it's got the 50 or 20. Walt Disney World. I don't know why it says 20 on it. I, I really, I don't know why it says 20. Uh, it's got nothing on the back. It's got a Mickey on that. I don't know why, I, I really, if you know in the comments, tell me why this says 20, because I have no idea. She asked me to pick her up these. Uh, See, she had me get her sister her sister's birthday present too which I'll show it off just cause she got her sister one of these zip up hoodies it's got the 50th logo there it's got all the Disney characters and the 50th outfits on the back I don't know how well I should see in this uh it says Walt Disney World down the sleeve she asked me to get that for her sister because she bought one for herself last year when she went and her sister really liked it so she's got to pay me back for that that's a definite pay me back probably even for the pants i'll be honest those were expensive i ran out of money um i got this for a friend who i hopefully they like it i think they will if they don't uh -oh. She loves haunted things, haunt, scary stuff. So I got her this cute haunted mansion dress. I thought she'd probably really like this. Uh, it's got all the haunted mansion some characters and symbols on it. It's long. <laughs> that didn't work the way I had planned. That's that. Uh, so <laughs> I'll let me sit back down. I have all these Mickey Mouse plushes, but there was one I did not have that I was like, saw it and I go, well, why don't I have this one yet? Just a standard Mickey Mouse. So I, I'm like, I gotta grab one of these. I've got a Steamboat Willie. I've got the 50th anniversary. I got the collection ones. I just didn't have a regular old Mickey. Like he has nothing special to him. He's just standard Mickey. But I got him. The next thing I got for myself this was the last thing I got, which is kind of the reason I'm trying to give myself a bit more room. I bought myself this Disney World bomber jacket. I am going to bring the camera close so I can get the details in this. Uh, it's got this patch on there, you know, most magical celebration. Uh, this has got that iridescent stripe coloring to it, you know, depending on the angle. Uh, the back, embroidered castle, most magical celebration, Walt Disney World. I saw this jacket and I'm like, I want this jacket. Uh, it's comfortable. It's kind of a blue, it's blue. It is blue. It looks kind of purple on camera right now. It is blue. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I did this, and here's the big kicker about that whole situation. I went there at noon. It is now only 4.30.
uh, oh, I almost missed one, uh, People Mover. I literally, when I was in Tomorrowland, People Mover had a five minute wait. So I, it didn't, it wasn't even five minutes. I think it took longer for me to go on that little escalator. I call it the Michael Jackson escalator because it's a flat escalator that just kind of goes up like that. So you're standing there leaning forward at an angle trying to stay up straight. So it, that's all that I could think of was the Michael Jackson smooth criminal when he leans forward really low and then comes back up. That's all I could think of in that. So I went ahead and rode the people mover for the first time, not knowing what that was. It's kind of neat. It goes in rides and everything. But yeah, after that, it was only 4.30. I managed to ride eight rides in four hours. I... How could, you, how could you go wrong there? I got to do every ride I wanted to do. I went on the rides I previously went, at, went on and loved. I got everything I wanted, purchased everything, got, get, got some stuff for a few friends. Everything went fine. And that was pretty much my entire trip to Disney World. I had a blast. Those are still hurting my head. Uh, that's it. That's what I did, and I enjoyed every moment of it, and hopefully next year I get to do it again, but we'll see.